This is Door to Door, the only television show that takes place in your hometown and right in your home. You want a thousand dollars? This guy right here. I figured you might want this oh. back. <laughs> Another three hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Door to Door, the only TV game show that gives you prizes, trips, and cash simply for knowing a bit about where you live. This week we find ourselves in a beautiful desert oasis located right beside the Colorado River. This is Lake Havasu, Arizona. Located in the heart of the desert, Lake Havasu is a recreational sports paradise. Though the town itself bears a striking resemblance to jolly old England, since American entrepreneur Robert McCullough bought and transported the London Bridge over the Atlantic Ocean and into the desert. The rain, however, did not follow. Behind me is the London Bridge, one of the biggest tourist attractions here in Lake Havasu. But what I'd like to know is how much do the people here actually know about the London Bridge? or London, or bridges for that matter. Let's find out. What is the bridge that you have come here to see called? London Bridge. The London Bridge. The London Bridge. You said it in sync, I like that. London Bridge. London Bridge, very good, correct. London is located in what country? England. 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 Again, very good. England is part of the United Kingdom. What other countries make up the UK? Britain? <laughs> right? I don't know. Ireland and... Uh... England and Ireland. Okay, there's two more. Y UK? You know. No. Oh, that's what I was asking. Scotland. Yes. Australia. Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland is what I was looking for. Never oh, guessed that, yeah. I, I can tell because you didn't. But that's okay. You got you got two out of three so far. Okay, getting back to bridges. I don't know how well you're going to do with this one. Uh, there is a father and two sons that were all actors and named Bridges. That's their last name. What are their first names? John. Jonathan. <laughs> David. Dylan. You're just saying random names of people, aren't you? <laughs> Jeff. Yes. And Lloyd. Yes. Do you know the other one? There's another son. Um, uh... Skippy. Cool. Very good. Okay, you got all three there. Congrats. Very good. Very good. Okay. So far, a three for four. One more question. Uh, finally, there is a nursery rhyme about the London Bridge. What happens to it? Falling down. Falling down. Falls down. Falls down, yeah. Can you sing it for me? London Bridge is falling down. Falling down. Falling down. London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> I appreciate how you sped it up there and gave me the techno <laughs> remix. Well, here's the deal. You got four out of five, and uh, you were playing for money. So I'm going to give you $5 for every correct answer. And you know what? Uh, for the opera, I'm going to give you all five right Yay! there. You, uh, $20 is yours. Thank you for your time. Yay! Thank you so much. It's nice meeting you all. Thank you very much. So I can give you each $5. You can divide it up, all right? <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much for stopping, ladies. Much appreciated. There you go. Buy yourself a souvenir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. I love door to door. Thank you for playing the game. It is a bright and beautiful day in the desert, and we are about to go knock on someone's door and hopefully give them money. Hi there. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. Wondering if you'd like to win some money. Sure. Well, that's a good <laughs> answer to start. My name is Jason Agnew. This is a television program called Door to Door. We go to people's houses, ask them questions. If you get the right answers, we'll give you cash. Are you guys for real? We are for real. You sure? There's only one condition. What's that? We need to come inside. A little bit of your time? Okay. Works? Sure. All right. Let's go inside, guys. Well, first of all, Mike, thank you for letting us in your home. Who do you have with you? This is my daughter, Dina. Dina, are you ready for this? Yes. How old are you? I'm 17. 17, you're still in school? Yes. Well, this is a good recruit here, Mike. I hear you. <laughs> All right, and what about yourself? I'm a retired fire captain. Okay, good stuff. Well, you've got a great background here. And how long have you guys lived here? Uh, two and a half years in this house. Two and a half years in this house, how long in Havasu? Uh, about five years. Five years? Mm-hmm. I think you'll do well. Here we go, you ready? Yep. yep. First round is called, 
Well, what do you know? In this round, every question is worth $25. I'll give you the question, you give me the answer, feel free to discuss. Okay. Here we go, first question. Lake Havasu is a reservoir on what river? Colorado River. Colorado River. You're in agreement? Yep. You got $25. There you go. Woo! Continuing on. <laughs> Question two. The Colorado River flows through five different states. Aside from Arizona, where we are, name three of them for me. Oh, God. California. Okay. Nevada. Yep. Utah. You got it. Woo! That's another 25 for you. You could have also said, Colorado. Colorado, it is Colorado yeah. River. All right, $50 in, very good. You're perfect so far. Question three. The Grand Canyon is, of course, located in Arizona. What is the name of the popular man-made viewing ledge that hangs out over the canyon? Mm, the stairway to the canyon. If Led Zeppelin had built it, then maybe, but no, no, no. In this case, the Skywalk is what I was Skywalk. looking for. Oh, yeah. Question four. Name the recent horror movie that was shot in Lake Havasu about flesh-eating fish. Piranha 3D. Piranha 3D, absolutely correct. Very good, $75, and that ends round one. How you feeling? Pretty good. Good, did well so far, three out of four. Three out of one. <laughs> you ready for round two? Yeah. Sure. All right, round two is called The Choice is Yours. In this round, every correct answer is worth $50, and I'm gonna help you along because it's multiple choice but the questions might be harder. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Question one. Which of the following did not star in the movie Piranha? Is it A, Richard Dreyfuss, B, Jamie Lee Curtis, C, Ving Rhames, or D, Elizabeth Shue? Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis. Curtis. Unanimously correct. Very good. All righty. Another $50 for you there. You're up to 125. Question two. One of these is a real creature that can only be found in Arizona. Is it A, the Cactus Cardinal, B, the Arizona Trout, C, the Grand Canyon Caribou, or D, the Phoenix Coyote? Yeah. Uh, what was the second the one? The Trout. The Arizona is Trout. Is that real? Could be. There's some lakes in, in over in like Williams area that have native trout. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I think it, it's the Arizona trout. Do you agree? Yeah. <clears throat> so you're going with Arizona trout. Yeah. It's another $50 for you is what that is. Way to go. Way to talk it out. <laughs> you know your fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question three. Havasu is the Mojave word for which of the following? A, blue skies, B, blue water, C, blue bayou, or D, blue suede shoes? You don't know? I don't know. Do you know? No. No. Blue water. Do you agree, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Why well, you just answered for your dad. <laughs> yeah. Blue water is going to be your guess, apparently. Blue water. Blue water is correct for another $50. All right. Excellent. Very good. Good job. <laughs> Up to 175 now. Question four. How long is the Grand Canyon? A, 277 miles, B, 377 miles, C, 477 miles, or D, 577 miles. I'm gonna go with 277. 277. 277 is the guess, and that is another $50 Whoa. as you ace that round. Very good. You are out of that with $275, and now we go into round three. It might involve a challenge. How do you feel about that? I'm feeling it. Feeling it? Yeah. <laughs> feeling a challenge. Okay. Well, then we're going to ask you to go ask your neighbor. <sighs> oh. Okay. Mike and his daughter Deanna will be faced with the challenge round next on Door to Door. <laughs> Welcome back to Door to Door. Let's see how our father and daughter team do with the challenge round. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. In this round, the game is called Go Ask Your Neighbor. I'm gonna make you go ask your neighbor. If they have the item that we're looking for, I'll give them $100 and I'll give you $100. You can go to up to three neighbors to find this item in this round and we'll follow you. 
Your item is a Grand Canyon souvenir. Oh. All right, we got this. You got it? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I want to see it. it happen. Let's do it. All right. Go ahead. I will follow. You're following Dina. Right <laughs> here. <laughs> All righty. Hello. Hi. We're your neighbors from down the street, and we're on a game show, and we need your help. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, we need a souvenir from the Grand Canyon. Do you have one? If you have one, you win $100. Yeah. Please. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. Nothing? It's OK. You do have two more chances, guys. Yeah, we have. That's okay. it. Well, it shouldn't be that tough. Well, we got to move on. Thank you very much for your time. Sorry. All right. Okay. Strike one. It's OK. Where are we going next? Hi, we're your neighbors and we're on a game show and we need to ask oh, you, we need your help. Yes. We're on door to door. Really? We need a souvenir from the bank here. Do you have one? Sure. If you do, it's worth $100 to you. Yeah. <laughs> she was excited. Yeah. Ooh. Right. What do you Andy got? What does it do? What does it say? Does it say Grand Canyon right there? Woo. There you go, ma'am. This is for you, $100 for you. What's your name? Dottie. Thank you very much, Dottie. Lord have mercy. You <laughs> just made my day. Thank you, Dottie. Much appreciated. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Very well done. I got myself a souvenir. You guys got yourself another $100, putting your total to $375 so far. Yeah. But I have to take you back into your home for one more round. Good. If you want to. Definitely. Well, let me explain it first. Let's okay. go back inside. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Mike and Dina, you've done very well so far. Three rounds in, you met your neighbors, and in total you have won $375. And this is where I hand over this cash to you. <laughs> All right. Right there. Mm. They made it explode. Before you celebrate, though, I want to give you another option. There is a fourth round. It's our bonus round, and it's optional. This bonus round is called Double or Nothing. So you can either take that cash and do whatever you want with it, or you can risk it to potentially win double. What would you like to do? Double or nothing. Double or nothing? Double you sure? Nothing. You're a risk taker. Yes. First step is handing it back to me. Ooh. How does that feel? But Not too good, huh? Not too good. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully I can give you it back. Here is your one question. The age of a saguaro cactus is determined by which of the following? Is it A, the amount of needles it has? B, its height? C, the color of its blossoms? Or D, how many rings are inside it? I think it might be the height. You think? Yeah. Because really tall ones are really old. Yeah. <laughs> height? Height? Height. Height is your guess. That is B. Come on. Height is right. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so yeah. I'll give you that. <laughs> All right. And on top of that, I'll give you that. Woo. It makes it easy to split. There you go. Congratulations, okay. guys. All right. $750. You took the risk. What are you going to do with it? Play my bank. Wow, that's a responsible daughter that you have raised there, Mike. Yeah, yeah. I just opened it. Well, good for you. It's going to Mike. What are you going to do with it? I'm going gambling. Okay. <laughs> well, you did well in this one, so hopefully you can double it again and again. Thank you very much for playing Thank the game and much. letting us in your house. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> and that is a situation where risk equaled reward. Congratulations to Mike and Dina. $750 richer. Let's see if our next contestant is going to be just as lucky. Open garage, jet ski outside. I think it's a good house. Hi there. Hi. We didn't even have to knock. How would you like to win some money? Money? Money. I'm all about that. Here's the deal. My name is Jason Agnew. I host a television show called Door to Door. All right. We go door to door and we play a game show inside your home. OK. And we ask you questions. If you get them right, we give you money. Yeah. How does that sound? It's good. What's your name? Matt. Matt, would we be allowed to come inside? Absolutely. All right, then let's do this. Let's go inside. All right. All right, Matt, thank you very much for letting us in. How did you know we were coming? 
I seen you coming up the driveway. And you just walked out and went yeah. by other cameras? Yeah. All right, now who have you roped into this? Uh, this is my wife, April. April, thank you for joining us here today. You ready? Yep. All right, all right, here we go. Uh, round one is called, Well, What Do You Know? <laughs> Question one. Lake Havasu is in Arizona along the Colorado River. What state is right on the other side of that river? California. California. Good, you set it in sync. $25 right there, okay. What is Arizona's official nickname? The Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon State. State. Okay, this is getting weird now because you set it in sync again. Question three. Lake Havasu was created back in 1938 as a result of a dam being built. What is the name of that dam? You can talk it out. Parker Dam or the Hoover? The Hoover Dam. You should have gone with your first instinct. Parker. It's the Parker Dam. Uh, I'm sorry you didn't get that one. It's okay, you still got the 50. Kay. Let's go to question four in this round. What is the name of this area's founding father who purchased the London Bridge in 1968? Robert P. McCulloch. Okay, you even gave me his middle initial. That's correct. Very good. All right. Another $25, $75 in that first round. How are you guys feeling? Awesome. Nervous. Done? All right. Nervous. You're doing very well. $75 is yours. But well, we're going to continue on and do, okay. do the second round here. And it is called The Choice is Yours. Now, in the second round, very similar to the first, but each correct answer is worth $50. And I'm gonna help you out as well. Okay. Multiple choice. All right. Question one. What year did the bridge celebrate its official grand opening in Lake Havasu City? Is it A, 1961, B, 1968, C, 1971, or D, 1978? C, 1971. I'll agree with him. <laughs> it was pretty confident, and it was also pretty right for another $50. Very good. 125 is what you got. Question two. When the London Bridge was still in London, what river did it span? Was it A, the London River, B, the Thames River, C, Abbey River, or D, the Little River Band River? I would say C, the Abbey River. Do you agree? Hey, I'll agree with him. You're going to agree? You shouldn't have agreed uh, that time, I'm sorry. It was B, yes, oh. but you didn't, you should have spoke up. B, <laughs> Thames is what we were looking for there. It's okay, you're still doing well here. Question three. In 1985, a made-for-TV movie called Bridge Across Time was set in Havasu and involved the spirit of Jack the Ripper and the London Bridge. But what I want to know is who starred in that film. Is it A, David Hasselhoff, B, Patrick Duffy, C, Alan Alda, or D, Lloyd Bridges? A, David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff is correct. I'm very sure of that. 175 for you as we go into the final question of this round. What is the official state fossil of Arizona? Is it A, petrified wood? B, scared soil? C, frightened fish? Or D, terrified titanium? What is the official it's state petrified fossil? Wood. A, petrified wood. Yeah, that's the, thing, it's the only fossil on the list. So that was an easy one. Very good. $225 is what you got. You guys are doing very well. That's the end of round two. Are you ready for round three? Sure. There's a challenge involved. Oh. And it is called, put your finger on it. After the break, find out if Matt and April complete the challenge round. Right here on Door to Door. Welcome back to Door to Door. It's time for the challenge round. Let's see how Matt and April do. Your game is called Put Your Finger On It and it's worth $100. Here's how the game is played. You have one minute to find for me and bring back this item that I'm going to tell you about. All right, here it is. Arizona is well known to be composed of a lot of desert, which contains many cacti Find for me something with a cactus on it in 60 seconds, go and bring it back. They seem to have, oh, they're running around. They've gone separate directions at this point. Looking for anything with a cactus on it. That's what I'm looking for. Not an actual cactus, please. Not, a, not an actual cactus. You are bringing me back a cactus. That does not count. Not an actual cactus. 
something with a cactus on it. That's what I'm looking for. Something with a cactus on it. Cartoon cactus, photo of a cactus, anything like that. 30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds. Cacti is what I'm looking for. Anything? You know, gotta be something somewhere. We are in Arizona. 10 seconds, nine, eight, there's a magazine. There is something that resembles a cactus. All right, I'll give it to you, $100 right there. I believe that is a cactus. That's a questionable cactus at a family Mexican restaurant, but I'll give it to you, $100 right, right there, $325 for you. Congratulations, guys. Um, you will have another option, though, because there is one more game. All right. I'll tell you about it. It's our bonus round. Okay, Matt and April, you've done very well so far. $325, and I feel I've been generous. I will continue to be generous, and I will give you this $325. All right. But now, you have a decision to make, because there is one more optional round that we like to call Stop or Swap. You can either take the money and run, use it on whatever you like, or trade it for one of my three cards. Each of these cards has something written on the back of it. Some could be good, some of the writing could be bad. So you don't know what you're gonna get. You guys talking about? Greed or, or security? <laughs> That's the new name of the game. Greed <laughs> or security, what would you like to do? <laughs> I like security. Security's a good thing. Take the money. Take the money Let's and take run. The money. You're gonna take the money, yeah. $325. Yeah. Excellent, congratulations. But just for the heck of it, oh, here we go. we're gonna play the game to see what would have happened. Okay. All right, you got the money, you're keeping it. Okay. But let's just say you had to pick one of these cards. Which one would it be? And don't this look one. at it. Okay, pull that card, don't look at it. Okay, so you did not pull a $400 card. You did not pull a double your money oh, card. Oh, oh, oh. So that means you pulled 200 bucks. You guys came out ahead. High five, awesome. way to go. Way to go guys, <laughs> great game. Congratulations, 325, what are you gonna buy? Thank you. Uh, going to the savings account. Right savings now. account? Security. Security, yeah. yep. Security, congratulations Thank guys. You. Thanks for playing the game. All right. Stop or swap or greed or security, no matter what you call it, Matt and April made the right choice and are $325 richer because of it. And that ends this episode of Door to Door. If you'd like your chance to be on the program, simply go to our website at doortodoortv.com. My name is Jason Agnew, letting you know we've got lots more great action next time, right here on Door to Door. So don't you dare miss it. Why does no one have a lawn? Really? People grass? We want all this cash. Thanks, door to door. Glad we let you in. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the cash, door to door. Couldn't have came at a better time. Glad we let you in. <laughs>